Hello, and welcome to Torch Talks, the podcast by Kennedy students for Kennedy students. This episode, we're discussing what's happening during November. I'm Sam Miranda, and today I'm joined by Amadeus Borchart, Noah Grin, and Gavin Black. So what sports are all starting up right now? There's girls basketball, boys basketball, wrestling, and then football's still going on. You know, we're in the playoffs. Cross country just finished up their season. State, they did a great job. Jacob Green finishing third. Team finishing 15th. How do you guys think you're going to do at the playoffs tonight? Urbandale's a great team, you know. They, they got a good running back, good quarterback. They have a great defense. It's going to be a good game. I think we're I think we're going to win, but it's definitely going to be a game, you know. Like he said, they have good players, you know, Iowa commit to. What does that exactly mean for people who aren't in sports? That or means anything. that he is committed to go to Iowa to play football. How do you guys go about preparing? It just gets more intense. Like every week, even from week one, it's just – Intensity level goes up and up and up and up. I don't know. You just you just got to prepare. I mean, started out we wanted to be uh, Metro champs, be the champs of Cedar, like Cedar Rapids, and then district champs. You know, be a champ of our district, and then our our top goal is state champs. You know, and if we win this game, we're in the dome for the semifinals, and we just want to be at the top, win the state championship, be the first team at Kennedy to win a state championship. I think that'd be pretty cool to do. How's the season going? Nine and one right now. About about to be ten and one after we beat Urbandale. Because it's going to happen, and then we're going to go to the Dome, and we're going to play at the Dome. We're going to play good, you know? I feel like a lot of it's mental preparation. You got to first, before you can beat someone, believe that you can. And, yeah, if you believe you can beat someone, instead of thinking, oh, they're just a bad team that we can beat easily, you need to think that you can and believe you can before you actually do it. Amadeus, you're on show choir, yeah? Yeah, I am. I'm in happiness. What's that premiere about on the 14th? Premiere is going to be the first time all of the show choirs actually perform a piece of their show. So like Chanteur's Project and Happiness are all going to be performing, as well as I believe Moonlight Express is also going to be performing for the first time this year. So it's just uh, showing off what we got at the beginning of the year, getting everyone hyped up for the show choir season. Gavin, you're on wrestling, yeah? Yeah. What do you have to do to get ready for wrestling? First thing is we gotta we got to clean the mats because they... They get dirty, so we start cleaning the mats, and then November 18th is when we get rolling, you know, start practice, start going from there, you know. Then we have, like, our fat tests to see how much weight we can cut, and then we start working. We start working and working. and Start cutting down your fat? Start cutting down the fat, yeah. So everyone, I presume, was here when it snowed during Halloween. How did that affect you guys? Well, one for football. Uh, we were out at Kingston Stadium, you know, and it was snowing. I mean, we were having fun, you know. I think I maybe made a few snow angels. Probably not something you should tell Coach White. But it just gave us some energy, you know, like it's snowing, you know. It usually doesn't snow in October, and it's just fun kind of practicing in the snow. Snow was fun, yeah. Personally, the snow didn't affect us too much, but it was definitely interesting drive home and an interesting drive every morning during that. I have a different opinion on the snow here. I did not like that during football practice. <laughs> Kept getting stuck on your cleats so you'd have no traction but it it was interesting having snow that early and having practice out on kingston in it so all of you look rather clean shaven are you guys going to try to do no shave november yes i am planning on it just because i don't really have anything to shave i started no shave november i had a pretty decent mustache going and my girlfriend told me to shave my mustache but I kept the little beard going on. The remains of what were before? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm not participating because some other people, I cannot grow hair worth crap or worth looking at. So I need to keep myself baby clean, baby soft. Clean as a baby's bottom. <laughs> Anything else you think you're going to be doing during November? Well, I got two different sides of family that I hang out with. Regularly, so I have the mom's side of the family and dad's side of the family. Interesting part is that we don't eat turkey, we eat ham, because no one in my family likes turkey. We like ham. Ham's good. Get a good honey, honey-smoked honey ham and some barbecue sauce on that, and then if, you, if you're lucky, you can get some steak with some, like, A1 on it, and it's like, oh my god. But that's what we do. I don't know why I'm going into a southern accent. But. Okay. <laughs> we eat turkey... 
like a normal person. <laughs> wow, that was rude. No, Amadeus is cool. I like Amadeus. I, I respect everybody's family traditions, but we make a turkey and ham. My grandma started a tradition when we were little. We had big celery stalks. You'd put them in your mashed potatoes, and you had to eat around the mashed potatoes. And the last one to make their tree fall, lost, never lost. A world champion. Yep. Probably because I'd take other people's trees out of their mashed potatoes, but... An everyday cheater, I see. An everyday cheater, I guess. But usually have my mom's side come over. My dad's side stays up north. They live up in Independence. They do their own thing. No, I got a good, on my dad's side, just a nice traditional Thanksgiving. You know, we got turkey and ham, best of both worlds. Got the mashed potatoes. Not really any special traditions, but... A lot of food. Man, that seems a bit boring. Yeah. <laughs> then this year, my other side of the family is coming down. F- and we're going to host Thanksgiving at our house, which is going to be interesting since almost all of them have dogs and we have a cat. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll find out. Do you guys do anything with like your sports teams during Thanksgiving or your friends around the time of it? Not during Thanksgiving. No, not during Thanksgiving. No, not unless they decide things. A fun thing to do is Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving? Friendsgiving is a fun thing to do. You know, you just get a bunch of your friends, and you basically yourself cook a turkey and some ham. I did it last year with some people. It was fun, you know, like the parents just stayed out of it. They probably, I think they just went out and went shopping probably. But Friendsgiving is is fun if you haven't done that yet. Find a group of friends and do Friendsgiving. Thanks for listening to this episode of Torch Talks. Make sure to join us for the next one. But for now, have a great day.